we are running some errands all day and I am not going to have a chance to film Organized Christmas for next week. So I'm going to go ahead and film two weeks of Organized Christmas. I'm not sure if you're going to have it all over one uh, video or if I'm going to actually be able to split it up and edit it and put it into two videos. But basically I wanted to get Organized Christmas out to you guys because it's important to me as it is to you. Uh, so I will be doing a recap of the 101 days to Christmas, that like daily thing that's on Facebook and even has the website. And then I'll also do what we should be doing for the next two weeks. I figure it's really easy for me to do this whenever I am driving. I know it's not as personal me, you know, not like looking at you guys and sitting in front of a camera. but. Is what it is so uh, for next week is week five and it's um, house room week so this week is like the week that you're gonna take to dedicate getting your like guest room or your bonus room clean and all that stuff so when my mom comes to visit for Thanksgiving my brother is coming as well so my mom's coming from New Hampshire my brother is coming from Tennessee so the easiest way that I can do it, I think, is I'm going to give my brother Trevor's room and I'm going to give my mom Casey's room. And then we have a futon downstairs, we have an extra mattress, we have a blow up mattress. So I think what we're going to do is either put both boys downstairs in the basement or put like Trevor on the couch and then put... um Casey and with the girls and I think that that'll just be you know the best way to do it uh, and then that way like my mom and my brother can lay out their suitcases they can have all of their stuff they can have a place where they can close the door it's not like they're on the couch or anything like that um, I would prefer my brother to be downstairs in the basement on the futon in all honesty but my brother's like six three six four that's not gonna happen he's not gonna fit there um, and if anything, I think the boys would like sleeping in the basement anyways. Um, or I may just put them all up in the girls' room and just make them deal with it for a few days. Because my brother is going to be there, I think he's coming on Tuesday or Wednesday into Saturday or Sunday. And then my mom is flying in, I want to say she's flying in Tuesday. And she's not leaving until the following Monday. So she'll be with us for a long time. So... Um, there's not much I can do cleaning wise for the guest room because I kind of did that last week with the kids But I can um, You know like it says make a pamper basket for them So get them all the toiletries they would need maybe some medicine make a cute thing for your Wi-Fi password um, Maybe get them some towels or stuff like that I'm gonna go ahead and wash the bedding that they're gonna use and put it in a trash bag So that it's nice and clean so that like the day before that my mom is going to come or that morning excuse me I can just take off the kid sheets and put on nice clean sheets so that my mom has some nice clean bedding and thankfully we have extra bedding because of um, the boys old bed they have like the same navy blue set so that's kind of how I'm going to be working on that more so working on like prepping for when they do come because you know the day before they come I'll obviously give the kids room a nice cleaning and find a place for them to lay out their suitcase and all that stuff uh, I'm gonna have like I'm gonna buy some Dollar Tree bins and just be able to throw all the stuff Trevor has like on his dresser, just throw it in a basket so my mom can use the dresser or Trevor can use, or uh, Nathan can use the dresser. Same thing with Casey's room, um, do it all. I mean, thankfully their rooms are very, very empty. There's not much in their rooms at all, so they'll have plenty of space to do whatever they need. Um, it also mentions decorating for autumn. Uh, if you haven't done that already, in all honesty, I think we may pull out our Halloween decorations this week. I think the kids will have fun with that. We'll decorate um, the house, possibly start decorating the outside. I mean, it's going to be August, or excuse me, October 1st at the end of this week. So um, that's a good time, I think, for Halloween decorations. So do that, and it also says, you know, while you're down there getting your Halloween decorations, maybe start thinking about what you're gonna do in your home for decor, look at last year's pictures, and just start getting an idea of what you're going to do and start thinking about what you wanna buy, start planning it out, maybe go through and see like 
I don't know if I ended up ever putting that video out, but we ended up losing a lot of our fall decorations in the move. Um, a lot of them got broken and destroyed because something fell on it and it was this like automotive grease type stuff. So it just, it ruined a lot of stuff. Um, so, you know, go through and look and see what you have. It may be a good time to do it. I like to do that because I just like to know what I have and, you know, what's going on. So in our basement, we have like this extra room that's going to eventually be a bedroom. But um, I'm going to just take all of my Christmas bins and put them in there and just kind of organize them. Um, you know, it's, it's easy stuff. And then I'll go ahead and film next week just in this because it's really quick. So next week is the weekly wardrobe week. So that's the week when you want to go through everyone's closets. Now, I just did my kids' closets. I have Trevor's closet left to do this week, but I just changed the boys' or Casey's and the girls' closets over. Um, I took out, I didn't take out all of their tank tops, but I took out a ton of their tank tops and put them away for next year. I took anything that was stained and gross and, you know, just not going to fit next year. took that and I just threw it in a bag for Goodwill. I don't have time to sell right now. I'm not going to even deal with it. I figure someone else can use it. Um, so I just did that for my kids. I still have to finish Trevor's and then I'll obviously go through our closet. Our closet, we don't have seasonal clothes that like we take out and put in anymore. We have a nice big closet so we have all of our clothes in there. So I may actually go through because I do have a few shorts that just I've worn them for the past few summers and they they need to get thrown away. So you know now's a good time to do that kind of figure out what you would want to keep and what you would wear again next year and then get rid of what you didn't or whatever. Um, and then it's also a good time to think like, I know for us, I used to buy my kids Halloween pajamas and Christmas pajamas. So Halloween, I'm not going to push anymore because I know that Trevor's getting older, Aubrey's getting older. They're just not into that stuff anymore. Yes, I am. But for Christmas, I do like to have a matching set of Christmas pajamas. They should start coming out. I know Jamboree just came out with their Christmas line. So definitely keep your eyes peeled if you do do that. It's especially when you get to the bigger sizes and the baby sizes. Like Ellie and Trevor, I have the hardest time finding ones to match because, you know, they don't make as many of the bigger kid stuff, I don't think, anymore. And then I also have to find something that's like more like adult-ish for Trevor. Uh, so I don't always get that like exact matching like I had in the past, but you know, I'll try to find something that kind of coordinates. So definitely start looking at that. Think if you're going to do Christmas outfits, now's definitely a time to start looking at that type of stuff. I don't think that we're going to do Christmas outfits. We're not going anywhere for Christmas. We're not visiting my family in New Hampshire. Um, we don't have anywhere to go. We don't go to church. Um, so it's just not anything that we'll dress up, but I do think that I'll get all the kids like a cute shirt or something like that that they can wear on Christmas day. That's not like one of the like gaudy tacky ones, but maybe like a nicer Christmas shirt or something like that, just so that we can have, you know, a nice picture around the tree like we always do. Um, and we don't necessarily have to get dressed up for it. Uh, it also mentions to think of like Christmas gift exchanges and stuff like that. And it's, I think it's funny that they mentioned that because um, as you know, one of my best friends moved down to Georgia a few months before I did and she lives some, you know, semi close to us and her and I were talking cause my mom isn't going to be able to come for Christmas anymore. Um, so her and I were talking cause like her parents are actually, her, she lives with her parents, but her parents are actually going back to New Hampshire for the holidays. And so I'm like, well, what if we did like an exchange with the kids? So I think what we're going to do is host some sort of get together at my house and have them over for dinner and um, like a craft with the kids, like either do like cookies or ornaments or something. And then they'll all somehow we'll pick names so that they all get to pick a name and they'll all get to buy a gift for each other. Now, someone in my family is most likely going to have to buy a gift for one of their siblings, which is fine so that it's fair for everybody to be able to pick someone um but so we're gonna do that and i think that that'll be fun i was debating doing like a christmas party with like the kids friends like maybe do like i don't know a craft or cookies but it's like trevor's friends are gonna be like no because they're boys and they don't want to do that type of stuff oh, um do things I can but like i don't know I, I may do like some sort of christmas party for the kids and just let them have friends over and do like just some christmas 
fun stuff. You know, maybe say, you know, if you want to come bring a $5 gift, we can do a gift exchange. Uh, we'll see what I want to plan. You know, I, I want to make sure now that my I know that my mom's not coming, that I'm planning a memorable Christmas for them with memories, not gifts. You know, I don't want to like buy the fact that my mom's not here. I want to just give them a memorable Christmas that, you know, that they'll always remember. And they will have my mom here for Thanksgiving and, you know, I'm sure she'll send them some goodies at Christmas time and they'll get to open them. And I'm thinking on Christmas morning or Christmas Eve, we'll just prop up an iPad or one of the phones and we'll just FaceTime with her and, you know, exchange gifts that way. And it sucks and I'm not happy about it, but what can I do? I, I can't force her to come. I can't, you know, it's just not, I can't do it. So, um, yeah, there's for wardrobe week and then I guess kind of a rant. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and it also says when you're going through the closets, it's also like time to focus on your laundry room. So get your laundry room nice and clean and organized. Um, in my laundry room, I also have like all of our flannel sheets, which I don't think we'll need here, but like I also have all my napkins and tableware. So just kind of do like an inventory checklist of that and see if you have everything that you need for like tablecloths and all that type of stuff. Um, and you know, just make a kind of note that you need that stuff and give your laundry room a really deep cleaning, really organize it, really empty it out. I feel like it's, you know, laundry does kind of get behind during the holidays. So I think that having it nice and organized and neat will help you out a lot. I'm hoping to film a laundry room tour pretty quickly. And then I also think this time of year and just stock up on like paper towels and toilet paper, laundry soap, all my cleaner so that it's one less thing that I have to buy that time of year and like worry about running out of. Get those like stain removal for clothes in case you do have a party. Get a really good carpet cleaner again in case you do have a party. Like get those things that you're not always buying because you may end up needing them this time of year. So I think I've covered everything for the organized Christmas parts. Um, oh, it says go through the coat closet, but that didn't apply to us because I don't can't see us needing coats. So the um, 101 Christmas values this week were shop the home, start your gift closet, start working on gift ideas for your family and friends and kids, work on your master gift list, work on your values worksheet, which I would highly suggest looking at this and seeing what's important to everybody, and then make a holiday planning center. Um, I also don't think that it's too early to start shopping, and one of the the pages did mention that and start wrapping like I have some boxes just straight up boxes that will be going and are as gifts and I'm gonna start wrapping those and Casey's closet is super empty and I'm gonna put them all upstairs or all up on the top shelf of Casey's closet and just be that ahead of the game so make sure you write it down so that you don't forget but yeah so that is my organized Christmas update I hope it was informative to you guys I am happy that I am able to get these videos out for you and I'll see you guys in two weeks